Yeah, hi, we are from SVS Embedded. The project title name is Shock Circuit Indicator Project. In this project, we are using 9 volts battery, two 9 volts batteries, and LM358 operational amplifier, and connected to the short wire, continuity wires. If it is uh, if it is any short circuit, then the SPDT relay pump should be motor should be off and alarm should be on. If it if it is a normal wire, then our pump will detect SPDT relay on and motor also on. So this is our block diagram of the circuit. So here we are using two 9 volts batteries and on off switch button and SPDT relay and motor alarm and LM358 operational amplifier and here 7805 regulator 9 volts battery 7805 regulator SPDT relay coil and LM358 operational amplifier and 300 RPM motor and one alarm. Now first let's power on motor on. So motor continuously rotating. So there is no shock circuit, it is continuously rotating. So whenever any shock circuit connected, okay, relay trip, relay trip, pump motor off, alarm continuously on. So now I am open circuit. Okay, so now everything should be okay. Motor is rotating continuously. So any shock circuit to that phase, okay, motor off, alarm continuously on, okay, so relay also off, relay on, motor on, so there is, so everything should be motor rotating, industrial fault detection mainly for short circuit protection in industrial motors, so if motor continuously rotating, nothing should be happen, any shock circuit detected, any shock circuit detected that op amp will detect alarm should be on relay trip motor should be off shock circuit so now shock circuit open circuit okay so so everything should be perfect going on motor rotating relay on motor on alarm off if shock circuit detected shock circuit detected so op amp detected relay off motor off alarm continuously on so this is our total block diagram of the project and uh, SVS embedded. Thank you.